Space exploration has been going on for years now, and it is not stopping anytime soon. So far, they have discovered things that are beyond explanation, and they are still discovering. However, it appears that the majority of space exploration is focused on just one planet, Mars. Scientists have said that Mars is capable of supporting life, but the question that remains unanswered to date is, is there life on any other planet other than Earth? Well, there is a scientist who claims that he has found fossilized alien footprints on Mars. But how true are these claims? Hello, and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. Today, we are going to discover whether it is true that a scientist has found fossilized alien footprints on Mars. Before we continue, take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that, let's get into it. For years now, NASA has been exploring the surface of Mars. They have been driving rovers for miles all over the dusty landscape, uncovering some pretty neat evidence along the way. Unfortunately, they have not yet found any evidence of life ever having existed on the Red Planet. That is, if you are one of those who believe this version of events. However, there are those who never believe it when agencies like NASA claim there is no life on other planets. One such person is Barry D. Gregorio, a researcher at the University of Buckingham. He does not believe any claims by NASA that there is no evidence of life. Furthermore, he claims that he has already discovered some clues that show Mars's past in the form of fossilized alien tracks. He has worked so hard to make others believe him and join him in his theory with the major aim of blowing off the top of an alleged NASA cover-up in the process. But the question remains, is this evidence real or is it just another conspiracy theory? After all, there have been many conspiracy theories about aliens' existence and other lifeforms' existence on other planets. Before we dive deeper into Di Gregorio's theory, who is Barry Di Gregorio? Barry Di Gregorio is an author who has published books on Mars and its potential to host life. He is also a researcher at the University of Buckingham. He is quite well known for his books and research. According to De Gregio, previously released NASA imagery from the planet offers clear evidence of Martian tracks. He strongly believes that the photos showing small indentations in rock are actually long fossilized footprints of some type of alien life. De Gregorio even told the Daily Star, Put it this way, these images, these figures have not been seen on Mars to date. One of the things that grabbed me immediately was the expediency that NASA left the area of such a mission. On the other hand, NASA is doing their best to remain level-headed as they try to give an explanation as to why Di Gregorio has lost his mind. From the photographs, the tracks that Di Gregorio claims to see are actually much smaller than you would think and they are at the center of this debate. And according to NASA, they are actually about the size of a sesame seed. The agency even believes that the odd shapes are, in fact, the byproduct of crystal formations in the rock, and they point to similar crystals found here on Earth that bear a striking resemblance to what Di Gregorio believes are alien footprints. Sanjeev Gupta from NASA's Mars Curiosity Science team was the one who gave an explanation for all of this. He said, These shapes are characteristic of gypsum crystals. These can form when salts become concentrated in water, such as in an evaporating lake. However, Di Gregorio is not really buying any of these explanations. Instead, he decided to present his findings at a conference held in 2018 hoping to get some support for his theory from other scientists. Well, that was a pretty bold strategy. Interestingly, this is not the first time that we have heard claims of there being life on Mars in the past. Most of the evidence has been discovered by NASA's Curiosity rover. Not so long ago, the rover detected some form of carbon on Mars, which is found in life on Earth. However, as intriguing as the results are, they do not prove whether there is life on Martian soil or whether there has ever been life. Ever since Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012, it has been roaming around the planet, mostly driving around Gale Crater. This crater is believed to have been a lake billions of years ago when Mars was a warmer, wetter world. However, according to a recent report taken by the rover, it claims that the soil samples that were collected contain high levels of carbon-12. This is a form of an isotope of carbon that is taken up preferentially by life on Earth. 
Paul Mahaffey, a recently retired Curiosity scientist, was quoted saying during a NASA release calling that it was tantalizingly interesting. NASA scientists suggest that the carbon might have been formed as a result of biological processes of life in the Martian soil. As with other discoveries, there may be less exciting ways to explain the findings that don't involve a biological source. In this case, there are many possibilities for where the carbon-12 could have come from. For example, it could have originated from the interactions between ultraviolet radiation from the Sun and Mars's carbon dioxide atmosphere. It could have also come from the galactic molecular cloud that passed over our entire solar system billions of years ago, depositing carbon on the surface of the planet. For more than 40 years now, there has been a debate about the biological versus non-biological sources of potentially fascinating extraterrestrial discoveries, all while the search for life on Mars continues. There have been many expeditions to Mars, most of them aiming to find life on Mars. For instance, back in 1976, Viking, the first Mars lander specifically designed to look for life on the planet, carried a small laboratory where the soil samples were fed nutrients and then heated. The gases that were released by the soil would suggest that there was microbial activity within it. However, other instruments on Viking were unable to detect any organic chemicals, especially those based on carbon. Because of this, the results of the experiment were deemed to be due to chemistry rather than biology, an assertion that remains controversial to this day. Some scientists maintain that the best explanation for Vikings' findings is biological in nature and that other researchers should consider this possibility. Even though some of those organics have been found in Martian soil by the more sensitive instruments on Curiosity, there is still not enough proof of life on Mars. What scientists and researchers need to find to believe that there is or was life is direct proof, such as fossils. There was once an opportunity when a meteorite was found in Antarctica in 1984. This meteorite was said to have been blasted off Mars billions of years ago and landed on Earth. This rock was found to contain what looked like worm-shaped fossils made of magnetite crystals that are similar to those made by some aquatic life on Earth. The discovery of this meteorite caused great excitement all over the world when NASA made a public announcement about it in 1996. This was the first evidence that strongly suggests life on another planet. However, it was not long before other scientists chimed in saying that the same structures could be made without involving biology. The debate over whether the meteorite contains proof of life on Mars is still a very hot topic. There are scientists who believe that there is life on Mars and that there is evidence to show it. However, others strongly disagree with this belief. This debate will never end unless they can actually prove it. So, which side are you on? Is there life on Mars or not? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Until then, goodbye.